coaching is based on the uh, method of Socrates, mm -hmm. uh, of inquiring from within. I didn't take one pill. Mm. All my, because I have many graduates, you know, and friends that are psychotherapists, they were like, you know, do you want to prescribe, you know, mm. do you want a pill, you want something, you know, just to calm down, to sleep. Well, I didn't take any, I didn't drink, I didn't eat, you know, I didn't need anything. Mm. I was just talking it out. I'm Farah Shamas. Welcome to Hotel Talk. We hope you enjoy listening to this friendly conversation between people connected by real life in hotels. Everyone, today on Hotel Talk Podcast, I'm so excited to have a very good friend of mine, someone who I've known for quite a few years. We have a lot in common. We have um, we're mothers of um, daughters as well. <laughs> Jill, uh, Jill has a lovely daughter called Joy, and um, she is Jill Duca. I've just said her name. She's a master certified coach. She's actually in the top four percent of the world, and she's a four-time number one best-selling author. She's just arrived in Cyprus, staying at St. Raphael Resort. Of course, from <laughs> uh, of course from <laughs> Athens, where she lives. But she is international. She's based all over the world. We're on a mastermind together, and. And um, we attend many conferences. We've been fellow speakers at many international conferences at the same time. And um, yeah, we go back a long way. So Jill, thank you so much for being here. I'm Finally. so excited. I'm so excited I'm here. Yeah, You're doing a wonderful job with your hotel talk. So I'm very happy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me and the, not just the podcast, the hotel and yeah, being there. So um, I want to start off by telling all our guests about you. Who is Jill Dugan? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you. So I am a master certified coach, as you said. I am Joy's mother. I am in love with triathlon and I'm uh, training in order to do my first race in July. I am an author. I really love to write. And I also love traveling all over the world. So these are some of the aspects of uh, who I am. I really like to live life to the fullest and every day to count my blessings and all the amazing things that have, are happening. So this is a, a small glimpse. <laughs> That's a small glimpse. I love it. That's the summary of, our, of who you are now. So let's go back. Who were you as a little girl? Mm -hmm. who, is, who was little Jill Duca? And yeah. how did she become the woman you are today? Jill was uh, a performer by default, so I started dance ballet classes when I was three, and I was a professional dancer until and professor of dance and choreographer until I was twenty-seven. So I used to I used to joke and say that dance is my longest relationship that I will <laughs> ever have with any you know anything in my life. The true love of your life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I really like to share uh, my feelings, everything that I thought, my thoughts, especially when I was choreographing with people. I studied in New York in Merce Cunningham Dance Foundation. I did a lot of performances there. I had a, quite a successful career also in Greece with the National Theatre, doing musicals with very famous people. And um, from then on, I took all these performance skills, uh, as I say, to training, to teaching people uh, to express their feelings in other ways, mm. uh, not through art, but through, you know, communication. So uh, I see myself as evolving throughout like a performer. So what happened at 27? I got bored. <laughs> I got bored. I got exhausted from or dance. Or just tired. I mean, dance is, you know, a, a grueling career. It's, I mean, it's beautiful, but yeah. it's tough. It's physically tough. Mentally tough. And I think tough, mentally tough. More, yeah. I think. And it's not, I didn't find a way to break through with uh, the money because I went back to Greece. So I was working long hours without getting paid. I knew I had so much potential. And when I shifted and changed job, I just um, tripled my salary in, mm. you know, in one month. So I I think, uh, to be honest, I think that the whole circle was fulfilled for mm. me. I wouldn't see my, I never would see myself, you know, growing old and being a, a dance teacher. Yeah. That would never be my, yeah. my dream. That's so interesting. Um, and what was it? Because, okay, we've all seen Black Swan and heard mm. about dancers and what a tough discipline it is. But what did that teach you the most from dance? Discipline. Yeah. Discipline that uh, I, I'm really, it's so much engraved into me, Farah, mm. that I, 
for me, it's hard to understand why people are not disciplined. So this, you know, yeah. this is a... And it also explains how you can train now for a triathlon and you've done marathons. And yeah. Because it's the challenge as well, I guess. Yeah, um, it's the, you're addicted to mm. adren adrenaline mm. that comes from surpassing yeah. who you are mm. every day. So definitely challenge and discipline are things that, yeah. you know, they, they really, really have shaped myself. Okay, so 27 cycle of dance closed and where did you go from there i i've studied quite a you know quite much uh, so i did a uh, human resources uh, management uh, um, uh, certification and then i did uh, an mba and at the same time i was working at the olympic games i also did uh, an event management uh, um course yes no actually it's it, it's a whole degree from oh, wow. Université Paris Dauphine in French I don't know how did I did that to be honest but it was quite amazing and so, where did you learn French I I, I was learning from school wow yeah, but you yeah. got it to a level that you could yes. study at university yes and actually gave exams in law Oh my god. Yeah, I failed, but I, because I, yeah. Because well, you know what? That's more than most people. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm already like good for trying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I was had so my GCSE there. with the teacher, like, you know, doing whole movements behind a recorded camera that I got it, got things so wrong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I, and I started working at the Olympic Games first in Athens. I was blessed. Mm -hmm to work in a company that had a lot of know-how. My mentor was uh, a guy that had done 12 Olympic Games. Wow. He shaped me as a manager. So I went to, and managed uh, with the training. I mean, training. you must have been quite, quite senior. Very to do senior. 12. I'm like, they didn't come up every four years. Yes, you know, exactly. Like working out. Very senior. Yeah. No, they come every two because there's a winter Olympic oh, Games okay. as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about the summer ones. I'm like, yeah, how yeah. old is this dude? So yeah. he he really shaped me and supported me to understand what uh, managing is mm. by leadership. So then it was when I started through dance as well. But then it was very, you know, because I, I had to manage 250 people. Mm. And somewhere you had really to, you know, to inspire them or, you know, to, to give them something so that yeah. they would go ahead with you, you know, and do. Because there were many volunteers as well. And then I was blessed to to go to the Turing Olympic Games. Out of the 4,000 people of the company, I was out of the 10 that they picked mm. because I knew Italian. So this is, you know, another thing that the languages... Languages are your thing. It's, it's amazing. They, they're your thing. How they really helped me, you know, yeah. go forward in life. Otherwise, they wouldn't have picked me. Okay, did a good job. And what else but, do you speak? So you obviously, Greek, yeah. English, French, Italian. Italian. French. Yeah, those four. Yeah. Was not like well, you speak four very well, I and mean, uh, yeah, that's like quite well. pretty impressive. Yeah. And uh, I did the Turing Olympic Games, where there I managed uh, around two thousand five hundred people. Mm -hmm. So that was a big project. And then I, I f since then, I have focused on HR and training a lot mm -hmm. because I did tons of training in the games. And then I went back to Greece. I did my MBA in Alba University, very tough one. And ever since, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm. I, I have my own training company uh, since uh, 2006, where I finished the games. And I I train, you know, people to become the best version of themselves. I, I love that. So tell us a bit about being a coach, because mm. we've all seen so many coaches spring mm. up all the time. It's like the new thing. I'm a life coach. I'm a life coach. And I think we all recognize the importance of coaches. And we have coaches everywhere from sports, exactly. you know, to our mentors at school, yeah. to teachers, our teachers, yeah, whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. to our parents. Yes. To our, I mean, <laughs> you know, there's coaches everywhere. But I think, I think coaching got a, a bit of a bad rep as well because there's just so many people who maybe I don't want to dare say it, failed at something yes. and then said, oh, I'm, I'm a life coach. And they're yes. like 22. And you're like, mm, really? Well... Um, so tell us a bit about what is coaching, why is it important, and what is it to be a master certified coach? Yes, yeah. yes. So coaching is based on the uh, method of Socrates, mm -hmm. uh, of inquiring from within. So there are powerful questions that you do and you support mm. the person to find their own truth. Mm. Okay, in Greek, Alicia is what has been hiding from the light. Mm. Okay, so, so you support the person to find their own truth, what is hidden inside them. Now, coaching is a tool that has been used, you know, throughout the, the centuries with 
powerful questions to support people. The thing is that uh, around the 70s, uh, after positive psychology, they really started focusing on how to support people with uh, powerful questions, with coaching. And it started to become famous, especially in the uh, USA. Now, International Coaching Federation has set some very, it's called the golden standard of coaching. Very, very strict standards that you have to stand, you know, and be mm. at their uh, level in order to be called an ICF, International Coach Federation, certified coach. And every coach that I know that is ICF certified has very high standards. You know, they, they have to, otherwise mm. they will fail. So I am a master certified coach from International Coach Federation, and I'm at the top 4% of coaches globally, which means that at the level that I am, we're 1,780 coaches in the whole world. Coaching, just like flying, has levels. Mm. The ACC, you need to do 100 hours. The PCC, 600 hours. And then the MCC, where I, where I am, it's over 3,500 hours, around 10 years. So now imagine I'm around 7,000 hours, I'm, mm. you know, because it's been some time that I, yeah. I did it. Uh, I, I, I gained it. There's nothing, you know, more than I can take from ICF. Actually, there isn't from any body of coaching. But, you know, Farah, just like in every profession, I'm happy to hear that the people are starting to become a coach mm. because it means that people believe that there is something better out there first for themselves. And this is good. Now, just like in every other profession, and you are, you know, such a professional, and you know that someone that is not doing a good work, in some time, they're going to disappear. They're not going to be around. So I'm not worried for all these people that say, I've studied a coach, and they might have done, you know, a weekend somewhere, or, you know, yeah. read 15 hours, just uploaded something. There, there are courses that are for free. And Global Academy of Coaching, the certification costs 7,000 euros. So if you're not serious about what you want to do, yes, go ahead and, and take, you know, something that is mm. for free. Go out, test yourself and see if you're going to bring results. Hats off, you know, really stay around. That would be amazing. But if you're not going to bring results, then. Yeah, you'll find something else to do and you exactly. won't get referrals. As exactly. Well. So. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not so worried, mm. to be honest. I never was. I, I was, you know, when everybody says, oh, there's so many coaches. Yeah, and, you know, there's so many taxi drivers. Is anybody, you know, complaining about mm. that? You know, it's... Yeah, and I think just like, well, I mean, like psychologists or even yeah. doctors or any, any lawyers, accountants, there's not a one-size-fits-all. Exactly. So if someone says, oh, you know, I could really, I could really do with a coach, and we, we all could... It's not that they call up anyone that they hear as a coach and then that's the perfect fit for them. They have to interview them like like yeah. they would yeah. do a, any uh, job in life. Do a coaching session yeah. and see if you fit. And see, and see if they fit. Yeah. You might say, no, actually, the, the person, yeah. 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 Of course, we never had this yeah. with our students. This yeah. is I really must say this, mm. and this is how we train them in Global Academy of Coaching. Because if you are a trained coach, you will immediately create rapport mm. and you know how to support the other person. Mm. Full stop. But you're training coaches, aren't yes. you? So yeah. it's different. You're not there to support clients. You're like the B to B. No, no. Oh, I have my uh, yeah. my clients as well. But yeah. then yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah. there's two sides to it. Yeah, so, yeah I couldn't. not to confuse them. Yeah. I couldn't. I could yeah. not. No, but you. But but we're talking now about you with your coaches. Coaches, yeah. With my coaches, yeah. yes. Yeah. I. So when you get into the the relationship, mm -hmm. you know how to support the other person, yeah. full stop. If yeah. you're trained, you have the tools. Yeah, yeah. There's no, oh, you don't fit me. I have done over 7,000 hours of coaching sessions. I never turned down a client, apart from two people who were not coachable. Mm. They, they had to seek, you know, another support. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, um, four number one best-selling books. Tell us about your books. And how did they all get to number one? It's amazing. And what was it about them that you think made... Okay, it's you, but what was it about them that people needed, do you think? It's a, it's a series of books. So, it, in English, the, the common series is Create, you mm -hmm. know, Create Love, uh, Create Your Now, Create um, How to Create Your Life... And in Greek is Agapi Tora, Efzin Tora, Xafnika Tora, Gineka Tora. And now it's my fifth. 
my fifth book that it's called the the ten x plan in English que plano tora in mm -hmm. Greek. So each book has a very specific topic, very specific, and each book has a part of my soul. You know, it's it, it's a lot of um, personal experiences and of my clients' experiences that I share in the books. And uh, each book is like a workshop on its own. So there are exercises in the books. And once you follow what the exercises do, you really see results. Mm. So just to cover the question, I think that results is what make the book. Yeah, people the, read it and they're like, wow, that, that changed my life. Literally. It, it does. Yeah. And it's, it, I see, so they send me so many pictures where the book is next to their bed stand. It's amazing, you know, because it's like, oh, it's here. And every night, you know, I just read a page or it's always next to me. You're next to me. And it's so sweet. Now, I'm so excited for my, my fifth. I don't know. I, it's, um, it's in this book, there are 17 years of work mm. all in there. So I have created the system, the plan where you can literally turn around your, your life through this book through the exercises that I, I, I take you through, through, there's also a course, it's a 30 day course. Okay. A four month course. And people have already seen incredible results with this. So I'm so excited to share it. Uh, next week we're coming here. We're launching the book in San Rafael. Yay. Yes. I'm, I'm very excited. So it's going to be the first, you know, place that it's going to actually be launched. Then we have uh, a workshop in Thessaloniki, then in Athens, then in London, and now we're planning in Dubai as well. Amazing. Yeah. Huge congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a great book. So, yeah, you guys read will it. love it. Yes. I've read it. <laughs> she has read it. Yeah. I've read it. You have next spoiler alerts from yes. me. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So, tell us, you've said that you've um, included parts of your life in your books and obviously your clients. So, without names, tell us. Like one of your most memorable stories from your life in coaching with any any client or anything, like a fun story or something that is I, like touching. I support, I have two niches. Everybody knows me as an um, you know, entrepreneur's coach. Okay, mm -hmm. so my niche is support female entrepreneurs to double their income and double their time off. Mm. Uh, but... It, my, my secret niche is that I support the woman to find their perfect match. And I don't advertise this, but there, there are people that come and they're like, okay, you know, help me. I want to find my man. So um, I have been in many weddings, uh, in many christenings. I've had babies named after me. Aww. Yeah. And this is, you know, just seeing people being happy mm -hmm. and, and finding, you know, their, their other half or, you know, someone who was trying to have a baby and they're like, you know, this baby is because of you. This, this is just huge. Mm. So for me, whatever brings life and union is the biggest accomplishment. All of my coaches, my clients, you know, that I, they're very niche. They're very top end. They're politicians. They're very, you know, stars, let's say TV stars, people like that. They're very, 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 very successful. But all of them have serious problems. I'm talking about serious. So people see this, you know, they see a cover of a mm. magazine. They're like, oh, and I know that, you know, back there's so much heartbreak. You know, they're divorcing. Nobody knows. There, there's so much, you know, that's happening. But when we go through that and then, you know, when comes, this is when my heart just blossoms. It, mm. It's really huge. Most of the time, nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Not about me, but, you know, what's yeah. going on in there. It's, it's freaking yeah. amazing. You know, they see something. Because they have to put it on the front. It, you know, not everything that glitters is gold. Nothing. People see, wow, you have everything. You yes. have it all. And, yeah, really, they're suffering. I've never seen anyone who really, you know, people believe that they're, oh, you're being absolutely happy. Mm. But when I support, you know, just to shift uh, a situation... This this really brings yeah. me a lot of happiness. That's why you do what you do. Yes, mm. exactly. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so tell us about staying positive because obviously well, that's you are <laughs> like you are just very positive. You've had your own heartbreaks in your life. You mm. went through a divorce not long ago. I know you lost your parents in You're six single, months. <laughs> both your parents in six months and the divorce. Divorce at the same. Well, things come in threes. So hopefully yeah. that was that. 
But, you know, you, like everyone else, have had your, you know, your own family issues, things. And, yeah, I've known you throughout it all, and you've always stayed positive. You've kept your head high. You've been a lady. What's what's your secret for that? So we were discussing it with a graduate. She's a psychologist. Mm. She's a psychotherapist, actually. And we were discussing about it because, you know, she, she has a completely different point of view. I'm like, you know, what's mm. your thing on this? And she's like, it's DNA. And I'm like, no, it's not DNA. I wasn't like that. You know, I yeah. wasn't. Yeah, I was a little bit positive, but I have trained my muscle, you know, my yeah. internal muscle a lot. I wasn't that much. I had it. You know, I had the inclination. I wasn't towards mm. the negative, but not that much. So, you know, I'll I'll take both. Yeah. Okay. Because I really need to respect also what science says. So there is a very big part that is DNA a lot, you know, what comes in. Mm -hmm. And there's a very big part of the internal muscle that we train. Yeah, the neuro pathways. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. We train towards the place that we wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So I've been writing affirmations for us since I was 16. I mean, I'm writing my goals for the past 22 years every day. Christmas, you know, wherever I am, I don't miss writing my goals. You know, I mean, who can, who, you know, of course it's this. You know, yeah. if, if you do something for 22 years every single day, aren't you going to be wired? But everybody's like, oh, I don't have time. And I'm like, okay, what time do you wake up? How long do you spend time? How how many hours do you spend time in, in social media? How long are you on Instagram? Exactly. exactly or, you Just know. check it. And, and it's 20 minutes. For me, it's 30 Not even. minutes. It yeah. could be. Yeah. It, you can start off with 60 seconds. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Even if it's just to write three words. Exactly. Love, success, health. Yeah. Get on yeah, with your day. Yeah, you write yeah, them yeah, down. Yeah, and yeah. then you can get into a sentence. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Afterwards. Yeah. And yeah so. Habit. I think it's a lot of mental training mm. and actually a lot of coaching. I've been blessed. I have worked with some of the best coaches in the world are my teachers. I've invested so much money in myself, mm. okay, on my own coaching, not not for work, for Jill. Jill, so that I am happy, so that I stand on my own feet. When I went, you know, I was going through, I was mourning with my father first, then the divorce, then my mother. I had six coaches every, every day. I had a session. I didn't take one pill. Mm. All my, because I have many graduates, you know, and friends that are psychotherapists, they were like, you know, do you want to prescribe? You know, mm. do you want a pill? You want something, you know, just to calm down to sleep. Well, I didn't take any, I didn't drink. I didn't eat. You know, I didn't need anything. Mm. I was just talking it out, you know. Mm -hmm. And sharing all my pain. Crying. And that's amazing that you as a coach sought help from other coaches to recognize the importance of it and didn't have that ego of, you know, I'm better than that. You know, you recognize the importance of, of having support and of a variety of learning from so many. So you had six different people, like one a day basically, and then yes. you have Sunday off. Yes. You yes, know, yes. to, yeah. And I, I have love the best. that. Yeah, the best. I mean, I pay, I invest so much money yeah. on my coaching mm. that it's just, you know, if I say the yourself. amount, yeah, yeah, if I say the amount, my team is going crazy with me. Uh, imagine now that I'm going, you know this, but I'm going to share it. I'm going to London. The reason why I'm going to London is for my coaching. Yeah. And then I'm going to do a workshop, by the way, you know, mm. for the launch of my book. So my first priority was, you know, I've booked this six months ago yeah. to go uh, on May for my own coaching. So you cannot be a coach. This is in the ICF code of ethics as well. You cannot be a coach unless you're coached. You cannot because this stops growth. And mm. in the ICF code of ethics, growing is a part of being a coach. You can, you know, it's anti-ethical. Yeah. You know, you know. So I've never stopped coaching myself. Mm. So important growth and I love it personally. Like that's always my aim. And I always say I only compete with myself. I never compete with others. It's just, yeah. what did I do last year? Yeah. Can I do more this year? Yeah. Can I beat that? Can I grow more? Yes. Or have do I completed better. that, better. that cycle? Different. Let's do something different yes. now. Yeah, Let's yeah. learn something more. Let's read more. Um, and I think it's amazing now with online. Yes. You know, before, I mean, not that we didn't love the world without internet, but yeah. 
if we embrace the, the present, I mean, you can book any course you want. It's incredible. I, I, I just booked an online art class because I used Aww. to always do art. Yes. And one of my aims this year was to do love paintings. It. I yeah, love it. Yeah. I haven't done anything since my um, my book that I illustrated. It's okay. You're going to start now. So then I was like, oh, and yeah. I went online. I found a, a teacher. I communicated with her. Perfect. And I booked a lesson. What's the worst case that happens? You know, you, you don't, don't like it. it. Yeah, it's okay. You do it, but okay. And you keep growing in anything, in any... Any hobby you have, any, yes. I think it's so important. Yes, and hobbies are very, yourself. hobbies are very important. Mm. You know, the, I, I don't, I, I don't call them hobbies, to be honest. I call them part of, you know, yeah, of who, who I am. Yeah. Yeah. For me, you know, hobby, every time we talk, you know, I'm either at the gym or going to the gym, you know. Well, exactly. And your yeah, hobby, yeah. let's say it's your lifestyle, is yeah, to be yeah. fit, to invest in yourself. Not just mentally, but physically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Every that's day. why you've done marathons. I mean, that was amazing in itself. You did the Athens marathon. No, oh, I did the 10K. Did, yeah. I didn't do the, oh, the marathon. Yeah, okay. in Athens. Still 10K, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and now the triathlon. Yeah, this is huge. I'm oh, so excited. Tell, no! tell us about the training for that. So I was inspired every morning. I am at the gym at 7.40. Mm. Okay, just when I dropped Joey. Okay. I'm there, you know, around 7.45. And there are very specific women there at the gym at that time. So it's six of us. One of them is a crazy woman at my age. She's incredible, beautiful, but she's doing Iron Man. Wow. So throughout the months, we have been discussing. I'm like, what do you do? She's like, oh, I'm in a race, blah, 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 blah. And I, I kept asking, okay, today, what training did you do? You know, she's like, I did 2K. Uh, mine was one. You know, I kept comparing, but understanding what her training was about, okay, in order for her to yeah. do a, a, a Ironman, um, which, by the way, it's Olympic distances in uh, running, swimming, swimming. and uh, cycling. Cycling, I know. All the, you know, in the same day. So it's about uh, eight hours to complete it. A half Ironman. A full is about 14 hours. And um, one day on uh, Christmas, before Christmas, she's like, uh, ah, I kept saying to her, I run, I swim, but I don't cycle. You know, I run, I swim, but I don't cycle. And she's like, one day she's like, come with me. I'm like, where? You know, I didn't have shoes. You know, she's like, come with me, come with me. You're, you're cycling today. And we went and she, you know, she showed me three things, how to sit, you know, where to put my legs, how to fix the, um, yeah, the, the seat, pedals. you know, everything. And she's like, go ahead now. And ever since, I couldn't stop cycling. You know, it became my new addiction. I cannot believe how I haven't done cycling all these years. And it's it's just a breakthrough for me. You know, it's so fun. And I bought, I took uh, her uh, bicycle that she was selling. Yeah. A very, very expensive bicycle that she did in the races. Now she got a much more expensive one. So I got it very good price. You know, and I start getting it. So... My bottom line is surround yourself. I know because some bikes are they're the same price as cars. You, you don't, don't want to know how much yeah. I gave for the bike. I, I haven't told many people. I'm, You'll tell me I after. Feel, yes, I'm embarrassed <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I say how much I paid for the bike. But you know what? Surround yourself with people who are much ahead of you at something. You know, she's so inspiring. Okay, she really now today we just you opened, I saw Instagram and I saw her running. I'm like, oh, I didn't do yeah. my training today because I was traveling. But guys, surround yourselves yeah. with people. Inspire you that yes. you wanna get their energy. You want, yes. I always say that. Because if you're around, it's the same thing. Any look at fruits. Yeah. You put a rotten <laughs> apricot next to a fresh one, you can be sure that that fresh one is not gonna last very long. It's not even gonna last a few hours. It's just going to get rotten. And it's the same thing with us, you know. If we wake up and we're like positive and happy and then suddenly we go and we're like, oh, it's a terrible day and we're next to someone yeah. who's low and that that negative is going to seep into us. Yeah. So just wish them well yeah. and, and move on and find someone who's and got release, good energy. release them yeah. with love, as we say yeah. in Global Academy of Coaching. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so true, really. Um, motherhood. Let's talk a little bit about motherhood. Yeah, this yeah. is the biggest blessing yeah. of my life, Isn't the journey. It? I think it's, I'm fascinated every day. I cannot understand how I surpass myself with becoming more because of mm. joy. Mm. I'm a single mom, so it's it's a lot, you know, it, yeah. it's not easy, uh, let me say. But it's fascinating. It's really fascinating. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. We have so much fun. It's so tough at the same time. Joy is a very strong 
a uh, young lady. Mm, uh, I wonder where she got that from. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm loving. <laughs> Energetic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talkative. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's, uh, I say she's 100 times more than I am, to be honest. I think she, she's going to rule the world or something. I don't say it to her, but this is my feeling. Mm. She's very, very strong and, and very kind. But uh, I am the person that she feels safe to do whatever she wants. So I'm being tested all the time. But Farah, my my reserves on patience, I can't believe myself. Sometimes I'm like, wow. Yeah, I know. What? Yeah, do you think it's also because we're not, of course, guys, we're very, very young. But, um, you know, we're not like 20-year-old moms. Do you think that's also I don't or know. not? I don't, not, that, not that I'm saying anything. Oh, my goodness, you can become know. a mom at any age I, I, now, and stage. And it depends yes. on your personal journey and stage of your life. What I know is that I really wanted her. I went through yeah. hell to have her. So I I cherish every, mm. you know, I, I it was so hard for, for us, you know, to yeah. bring, to manifest her and bring her in this earth. And I cherish every minute, mm. every minute. Me too. But I agree. Sometimes I'm like, you know, you hear mama, mama, mommy, mommy, da, da, da. And it's all done and you're still like this, yes, it's okay. <laughs> and then think, how do I manage that? Or you just pass the point of snapping, I think. <laughs> it's like I normal life. I don't snap. Yeah, that's what I mean. You pass that point. Yes. You're just like, you know, you realize it's not important. Yeah. We're just karma as well. I don't, yeah. don't want to give this battle. Okay, yeah. sometimes when I'm really, especially when it's work and enjoy at the same mm. se- millisecond, then you know because I yeah then I, I really but I I see myself snapping less and less and less and I'm like mm, you know interesting yeah, you know yeah. like observing in coaching we call it the helicopter view yes and yeah. I see that I have this with the with our relationship and I'm so happy yeah but again parenthood is a blessing but it, it's also a huge crash test that's what I think yeah and we're tested every day yeah but then we have to remember how just how lucky we are. Yeah, it's so true. Everything's a blessing. I was laughing about that Uh Um, with my husband yesterday. I was saying, oh, you know, we're getting old. I can see new lions here. And I said, you know what? What a privilege. To see the lions. To see the lions. You know, what a privilege to grow old. And, you know, that's all we can. Of course. There's gratitude. Yeah. So favorite quote, my dear. What's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is from Yoda in Star Wars, Mm -hmm. which is do or do not. There is no try. Ah, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I put I know. that up on my Instagram I read the other day. <laughs> I read it. I'm like, I don't have even. I'm heard not that, a fan but either. My sister loves. loves I'm not a fan her either. Her dog's called Yoda, so. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. So this quote is about actually going ahead and doing stuff. In, in mm. Global Academy of Coaching, when we say the word "try," I tried. Mm. We pay the fine of five euros. Oh, really? Because. When That's so say, interesting because in many things in life we say just try, try your best. No, there is no try. There is a do. Or now, do your best. If yeah. you do your best and you fail, you did it. You didn't try. Mm. Try it's, is like yeah, you didn't. Try is, it is always the do. exactly. It's always on the try. Cusp, yeah. Yes, exactly on the. Grasp. You're like on the fence. Yeah, you are. But yeah. once you do it, okay, you failed. You tr- you did it. You but didn't you did try. It. Yeah, I don't want to hear. It's almost like I thought about exactly. It. Yeah. I was sleeping and I was thinking, and I know I don't know. No, yeah, I tried to get up, but I didn't manage. Exactly, it. No, get up. I didn't manage to go to the gym, but you got up at least. Exactly, you, know? you got yeah. up. You did it. Yeah. I went to the gym. Okay, You're I didn't do. Di- I didn't do twenty two k. I did eighteen. You did it. Yeah, you didn't try yeah. to do eighteen. So this is, you know, this is a whole thing of how we see, perceive life. Yeah. And how we train our brain. Let's go back, you know, to what we were saying in the beginning. We train our brain to do stuff. Okay, we came, we did the interview. We didn't try to do the interview. We Mm. did it. Now, if the interview is going to be successful or not, it's a completely different thing. Okay, if the lights turn off, you know, we have we don't have power. Power Yes, we did the interview. It wasn't concluded. But we did it. You know, we really need to start thinking Mm. in another way. In a positive way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there is, there's so much science to do with the neural pathways. I mean, it's, that is science. It's there. Exactly. So if we don't train our brain and ourselves to think in a different way, then 
Yeah. So from this little quote is a whole, you know, way that we're we're training our minds mm. in our in global academic of coaching, you know, how to actually perceive your own self. Mm. That and you're you doing that. stuff. Yeah. Well, there you go. I just learned something I didn't know. Maybe I should watch Star Wars after all. <laughs> all right. Before I give you the bonus question, <laughs> we did not talk about your TEDx talks. Yeah. Because you're, you you spoke at TEDx twice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So tell us about that. What what were the topics? What did you learn from that? I mean, okay, you're an international speaker, but TEDx is huge. So tell us a bit about it, those. It was huge, especially when it happened. So the first one, I had a, a goal to speak to a TEDx event. Mm. And after one month, I heard about this TEDx in India, in Chennai. Mm -hmm. I had already sent to the TED a video to speak in the TED conference, which mm -hmm. is the, you know, huge, you know, you have yeah. to, they, they ask you for a video. So I had already prepared a video. I had worked about it with it, you mm -hmm. know, for so long to have a, an amazing video. I sent it and I failed. I didn't, you know, they didn't mm -hmm. um, uh, pick me. So then I, I heard about the TEDx in India and a friend of mine was speaking there. And I'm like, okay, can I, you know, can I ask, you know, if I can speak? And she's like, well, yes, you can. But today is the deadline. You need to send a video. And I'm like, video ready. Perfect. So within, you know, one hour she had the video, she forwarded it and they chose me. But that was an amazing experience because there I spoke in front of 1,500 people. Wow. We went to a university where people would rhythmically call my name and clap 2,000 people in the Savita University. So those, you know, it was just like beyond mm. all the experience because they had it really well set up. Uh, the, that was that the, the topic was about actually there is no mistake, that everything in life is a step stone to take you to the next level, mm -hmm. even if you're heartbroken, you know, and you're, you know, down, on your knees, it's a step to take you to the next mm. level, even if we cannot see it while it's yeah. happening. You are wherever you need to be in life. Yes. That's the stage you yeah. need to be to move forward. And that was the one. And the other one was here in Cyprus, in Nicosia, the first mm. one, the first TEDx Nicosia, I was invited as well. And um, it was about, you know, uh, how to find the positive into from the negative. Mm. You know, always, there's always something that you can learn mm -hmm. and you can get with you. Yeah. Wow. And you can see them on YouTube, guys. Look them up. Yeah? yeah? Of course. All right, then. So, Jill, our crystal bowl. Wow. So, these are the team at St. Marfa Resort puts these together. Perfect. Let me read it to you. Yes. And sometimes they say, yes. Yeah. So, this is Christiana H., so Haji Manoli, our sales executive. Oh, you know. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You got her. So, which generation or year would you rather have been born in? Hmm, that's interesting. I'm happy. <laughs> We're yeah. on the generation of the year that I'm born. Yeah, you're happy. I don't, yes, I don't, um, you know, I don't feel that I would like to be in another generation, to be honest. Or another completely different time, Era. like 1800s. No, or, no. Yeah. I am so fascinated Tudor, what's going on now. Tudor Britain or <laughs> when no one took baths or... <laughs> I feel sorry for them. no. I am so fascinated, Fire, with AI and mm. all the changes it's going to bring. I'm so fascinated with internet, you know, and everything. Because imagine that we teach our students are in New York, in London, in Dubai, and now in Singapore. So, you know, mm. I mean, this is so huge. Even, even after, you know, COVID, which supposedly was, you know, the disaster, and it was for many people. But, you know, we all came out of it with, with gains, you know. I mean, online became so big. Hybrid meetings became so big. Um, you know, the world changed. And in some part, for the better. Yes. And yeah. everything now, we're going to experience some huge yeah. changes. And I really want to be part of it. Yeah. I think we're also lucky because we got to experience both. Like we got to experience yeah. a world with no internet. Um, maybe a simpler time. Uh Boredom, yes. boredom and creativity. Yeah, We came from a generation where we saw our parents, you know, really work yeah. and build up things. I think the younger generation, not so much. You know, it's been easier for them to some degree. Younger, I mean like 30s, 20s. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think we've been lucky. So again, though, it's there's negatives and positives. Yeah, definitely. And we can take the positives and move with that. Yes, mm. yes. 
Yeah. Jill, thank you so much. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Guys, I'm so happy because this is a very good friend of mine. So it's great just to chat. Yes. And have one of our chats in it to be on video, on our podcast. Yeah, and I love for it. those of you who watched also on Instagram Live. So yeah. yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I love it. I love thank it. You, thank Jill. you. I'm, I'm happy we managed to catch you on one of your trips to Cyprus. Yes, me too. <laughs> we did it. We did Yay, it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. All the best, Jill. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Dun, 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 it's finished. Bravo, guys. It's fun, huh? Let's see. Amazing. You're a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. You're a natural. Ah, no. Oh, we're still on. <laughs> we're still on, actually. And I wanted to, now that I've got, wait, because you guys are still Hi, guys. live. You're this very is, good. woo. So. Um, what have we got here? Let's see. Does anybody does anybody have any questions for Jill? First of all, a huge shout out to so many of you. Ziad, Stavros, Vicky. I can't even go through everyone. Pauline, Andre. I'm just seeing names. Sandy. Oh my goodness, Caroline. So many, so many. Miss. And then we've got Istuwing. We are living in an incredible time. The new age of Aquarius. I did not know that. Neither. It's a time of progress. I guess it's a time of, but a great awakening into 5D Earth. All the blessings, Esther. Thank you, Esther. That is yes, so interesting. I love it. Um, please, ca can you reply to me in a direct message? If you've sent me a direct message, I sure can. Please check DM. I'm sorry, guys. I don't check my DMs so often. With all love. Thank you, Insta Wellbeing. All right, guys. So love from us. What should I? Well, we went or join. Should I post this? Should I keep this on my feed or what yeah. do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep this on my feed in case any of you want to watch it. I look very shiny in this light. Love from myself and Jill. I'm going to tag her in. So follow her as well. Thank you. Thanks Take so care, much. everyone. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. I really hope that you've enjoyed listening to Hotel Talk and this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it helps us more than you may realize. And also, if you have enjoyed any episode more than maybe another, do share that with as many friends as possible because whoever gets the most amount of downloads or likes um, after the first year, we will be donating 1,000 euros to a charity of their choice. So all your listens really help us. If you'd like to stay in touch, don't forget to hop along to St. Raphael Resort and Marina's website, join our Seahorse Club and email the hotel anytime that you want to come and stay, quoting Hotel Talk to receive an exclusive offer just for you as our valued listener. So thanks once again and here's to many more amazing episodes with you, our listener in mind.